Hi students, welcome to Baiju's 9th and 10th channel. All of you are achievers and I am your teacher Ankita. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we will be discussing something really very interesting. Now, I am sure all of you have heard about the special muscles that are there in our heart. And of course, the question arises that why doesn't the heart muscles get tired like other skeletal muscles that we have in the body? So, in today's class, we'll be discussing about the details of this question and we'll be looking forward towards the answer. So, are you ready to solve this interesting and amazing mystery? Let's get started. When we talk about our heart, we call our heart as the pumping organ of the body. We know that heart works 24-7. It beats throughout the day, even if when we are sleeping. And this plays a very important role in the circulation of the blood and the nutrient throughout our body. So we know that heart is really very important. Now a very interesting question that it comes to our mind when we talk about heart, that how it works 24-7 without taking any break. Now the answer is attached to the heart itself. Now our heart is an autonomous organ. That means that it can work independently. Along with that, it is kind of self-capable of doing its own work. Heart is made up of a very special muscles and we call those muscles as the cardiac muscles. Now these muscles are present only in heart and they are really very special. When we talk about these muscles, we will understand that why our heart is not resting. But we will be coming on that point in a bit. But let's understand that our heart is capable of performing its own function. Right? And when we talk about the heart, we always see the regular contraction and relaxation. But that is possible because the heart has its own electrical supply. Now, in our heart, we have the SA node. It, re it receives the electrical signals and of course, it receives the signals and generates the electrical impulse. Because of that electrical impulse, what happens, we see the contraction happening in the atriums. So, SA node will send the signals, right, the electrical impulse and of course, we'll see the contraction and the relaxation of the atriums. And we have the AV node which takes that signal further and moves that signal to the ventricles. And over there we have the bundle of hills that actually plays a very important role in the contraction of the ventricles. So this is how our heart is capable of doing that function also. So we have a uh, heart has its own pace, right, pace making machine and that is the SA node and this is really very important in actually making the heart work 24-7. It provides the electrical impulse and that's how the heart contracts and relax. So we know that our heart is an autonomous organ, it has its own pacemaker. Now let's take a closer look at the tissues itself. So the cardiac muscles, right, right, have a very interesting types of cells. Now these cells are the cardiomyocytes, very interesting cells, right, look at the name of these. Now these cells are so much full with mitochondria. They have 10 times more mitochondria than any other cells that we have in our body. In that way, when they have enough mitochondria, we can say when they have so much of the mitochondria, I'm sure they will never be short of any energy, right? So, these cells have mitochondria and of course we know that mitochondria plays a very important role in generating of the energy. So, more mitochondria means more energy. More energy means that this particular organ can work 24-7 without taking any rest. So now we know that why our heart is super active. I hope that you got this concept correct. But let us quickly answer a very interesting question which comes along with this. Is that why our skeletal muscles get tired? Now we know that the skeletal muscles are voluntary in nature. You and I can control the skeletal muscle, whereas the cardiac muscles are not in our control, they are involuntary. So, these skeletal muscles which are, you know, voluntary in action, 
are connected, of course, are attached to the bones and, of course, with the ligaments. And we do all the movements with them. Moving our hands, rotating neck, walking, right, jumping, all of these activities. Now, when we talk about all of these, these get fatigued or get tired very easily as compared to the cardiac muscle because of a very simple reason. Because they uh, run low on oxygen. That's why under certain conditions, the body, especially these skeletal muscles, undergo anaerobic respiration and the lack of the oxygenation, lack of oxygen, they actually make the lactic acid. So the breakdown of pyrrhot will occur and of course will have the formation of lactic acid that will be getting accumulated and of course will give us cramp. So all of it is kind of connected. We have studied about the uh, respiration and that's how we can clearly understand that why these muscles get tired easily. So till now we have discussed about our amazing organ heart, why it can work 24-7 and of course now we understood that why the skeletal muscle also get tired. I hope that you have noted down all the important points that we have discussed. We are done but I am leaving you with a very interesting question. The question is, are there any other muscles than the cardiac muscles that work independently? You could write the answer in the comment section below and we will be waiting for your answer. On that note, I will say bye bye. We know that Vyjus have got you covered. Don't forget to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel. Lots of love to you and keep on learning with Baijus.